previously with Rob and Shuri. Rob drives up to Washington, goes to the airport, picks up Shuri. They drive up to Bellingham and look at a boat for sale. In this episode, Rob and Shuri meet up with Three Tails RV and possibly make a big decision. Hi guys, it's day five. Uh, Shuri and I had a nice evening. We went up to uh, Birch Bay, Bellingham area. Uh, we looked at a boat and uh, checked out a casino up there and had a nice dinner. Uh, today we're at the storage unit and uh, we're deciding against not bringing the couch home. And But we did pick up a few things that were in the storage unit that we're going to take back with us to Arizona. So uh, now we're uh, just relaxing a little bit. Going to go get some lunch. Going to go back up to Bellingham. And we're now up to 1,812 miles. 1,812 miles since I've left, left Arizona. So there you go. We'll show you, show you more as we go. And ah uh, yes, here it comes. We're walking up to Blue Heron Yacht Sales. And yeah, we kind of like that last boat. And yeah, we're putting an offer on it. So here we go. Hi guys. So we're out here on kind of a pier uh, in Bellingham. Mm -hmm. And uh, it looks like all commercial boats you can see behind me. And I think the commercial boats use this. I kind of turn around a little bit. And my son's in the wrong direction. And, uh, oh, did I mention we bought a boat? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're hoping. We we're put hoping. an offer. We put an offer in on a boat. We'll tell you more about it as we go. And uh, you might be surprised it's not what you think it is. So uh, we'll explain the whole story as we go. But that was part of our mission to coming up here to Washington. And uh, uh, like I said, I think you'll be surprised of what it is. And uh, so today we're just going to enjoy the Anacortes, uh, north part of the Washington and the water. And once again, let me turn you around so you can kind of see. It's just a beautiful day. And uh, we just got done doing the, the stressful part of paperwork. Our uh, broker, as you saw earlier, is, uh, his office is just over there. And now we're chilling because we just wrote the checks. So anyway, there you go. More adventure coming, I told you. All right guys, well you know when people start looking at boats or buying boats, uh, just like RVs, people always go to Camping World. Well, for boats, it's West Marine. <laughs> so that's the first place we win. We haven't even owned the boat yet. So anyway, uh, talk to you later. Lots of things to come. Bye. Well, we're hanging out at Anacortes looking at the boat, so let's take a look. Of course you may imagine that when you buy an RV or buy a boat, the first thing you start doing is daydreaming about all the things you're going to do. And of course, Shuri and I went to Anacortes Marina and decided to walk around in the nice weather, it was nice and sunshine, look at all the other boats, imagine what it's going to be like when we get our boat. We're excited to the fact that we're going to be able to share a whole bunch of new stories with you with our RV and with our boat now. We've decided that we're pretty much going to be kind of weekend warriors that live in an RV. And we wanted to bring some really fun stories uh, to our channel. And if you also notice, we didn't buy a sailboat. We are not ready for a sailboat yet. Uh, in the future, we will. And this boat we have, we're, we imagine that we're probably going to trade it in for a sailboat when we get up in our... Uh, senior years but it was a beautiful day and i hope everybody enjoys the boat and the channel hi guys this is rob i'm sure he's uh, in the office at the motel here giving the key back we are down in kent washington it's a sunday and uh, this is day six of our travels and exciting thing today is we're going to go meet uh, aaron and Lori from three tails rv uh, for lunch today at our favorite place called caveman kitchen and Cinder gets to go and this wasn't the best motel in the world but the cost of motels are amazingly high up here especially up north towards the border so anyway we're just uh, being surprised every time we get a different motel room so next time uh, I turn on the 
camera here. Hopefully we'll be introducing you to uh, Aaron and Lori from 3 tailsrvcom Talk to you later. So of course, like every RV channel, we got to show all of our toys and hardware or how we do what we do. And the girls had a chance to say how crazy their husbands are. And then we just got out in the back of the field in the shade until actually we lost our shade and talked and talked forever. And it was a wonderful day. So don't forget to go see 3 tailsrvcom They're wonderful people. So we had a wonderful lunch with Aaron and Lori Jimerson of 3 Tails RV. They gave us a beautiful gift. A little cinder. The baby cinder. And uh, he made this. He made that. And it looks really good. We're going to put that up in the RV. We're very grateful. Uh, maybe talking more to Aaron uh, more this week. Hey, maybe helping me with a project, but we had a wonderful time tonight. We're going to meet up with Sherry's sister, probably go up to the Muckleshoot uh, Reservation and have dinner, and uh, we get a discount up there. So, I'm looking forward to that. So, that kind of ends day six for us. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And there's a lot, there's more to this adventure coming up. So, give us Bye. a holler. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Thank you for watching our videos. Please take the time to subscribe and consider being a Patreon supporter. There is many more adventures and some big surprises coming in the future with your help. Thanks again.